Good evening. Hello. Love stories have always been popular. But you know, popular is an understatement when you're talking about the romance novel of the 1980s. Here's a sample. Their hands touched briefly before Jason let go of the coffee can. Jessica felt the familiar surge of desire course through her veins as she quickly jerked her hand away to spoon the grounds into the basket. Granted, it's not the greatest literature in the world, but romance novels are giving millions of women a great deal of pleasure. Bob Wallace tells why. Slowly, the train pulled into the station, its smooth round wheels caressing the firm metal track. Uh, put another way, last month, some of the biggest names in romance writing came through Chicago. They were on their way via the love train from Los Angeles to New York for the annual Romance Book Lovers Conference. There to meet them at the station, just a sampling of the more than 20 million people who read romance novels. Hi, nice to meet you. This is Patricia Love's Sweet Agony Matthews with husband and sometime collaborator Clayton. We can't ride after the British. This is Alice Masquerade of Love Morgan, an ex-cop. And here's Marilis Wills, who managed a hang gliding business before Tempest and Tenderness. Thank you. And Brenda, runaway wife Trent, have been called love's leading ladies. Who wants a book? Silhouette? Oh, yeah. This is what all the excitement is about, the romance novel. A boy meets girl plot in various forms. There are historical romances, contemporary romances, sexy ones, sweet ones, bodice rippers, and regencies. And the market for romance has become as hot as some of the passages. Just give me the chance, I'll more than romance you with the words that I'll read. Romance now accounts for an estimated 35 to 40 percent of all paperback sales. Silhouette, Harlequin, Candlelight Ecstasy, Rapture, numerous lines of books publishing over a hundred titles every month. And these days, the spicier, the better. They'll come in and, and, and they'll take out maybe 50 books. And there are people who will read 50 to 100 books a month. Nancy McCann owns the Exchange of Books store in Calumet City. Nowhere are romance fans more in love with love than here. About a dozen local women recently took a six-week course in romance writing at Nancy's store. And above all, you have to have a happy ending for these books. They have to have the warm, emotional glow. The teacher, um, the Sarita Stevens, a Chicagoan, an author of This Bitter Ecstasy and Tame the Wild Heart. Um, our heroines are, are feisty and independent ladies that would uh, say, hey, what the hell is happening? You know, are the you course assignment, to, to write some romance. Marry you? I wouldn't marry you. Why, I don't even like you. You're, you're, you are going to marry me, and in 13 more days. I hope you are getting ready for it. You'll only be married once. I will never let you go. Aspiring author Diana Rahill is 14 years old. He handed her a glass and pushed himself on the arm of her chair. Her flesh was tingling at his nearness, and she waited in tense expectation. Nikki, he said finally, his long fingers absently playing with one of her silky brown tresses. Hmm? Would you like to play Scrabble? It's something that we like to have that we can't have, you know. So, you know, I mean, this gorgeous hunk, and you look around, and there's nothing like that. So I suppose that's what it is. At this class, several Chicago-area romance writers lent their expertise. People like Jan Matthews from Schaumburg, author of A Flame Too Fierce. Also there was Jasmine Cresswell from Barrington Hills, author of about 15 novels. She stressed historical accuracy. You know, if the hero is going to come prancing through the woods, ripping off his clothes, you've got to be sure that you're describing the right clothes when he rips them off. And in that period, um, it was kind of difficult to get them off quickly. <laughs> Ed Kolachik of Kildeer quit a career at IBM to collaborate with wife Anne, a writer since 1977. Usually love scenes are better off from the woman's point of view. I did tell, have somebody tell me that if they were writing, they'd write something important. But uh, they're not writing and they're not selling, so I didn't get too offended by that. The crucial question is, does the hero and heroine get together? You know, a lot of the novels like to open with a sensual love scene. It's very difficult to do, you know, between two total strangers. You're allowed to describe everything above the waist. You do not describe things uh, below the waist except for in vague euphemisms. My rule of thumb is by chapter five. <laughs> okay. And then you have to develop reasons to keep them from getting married until chapter 12. Meanwhile, 
It was a crisp spring afternoon as vehicles from a time gone by rumbled into sight of the Walden Book store on Michigan Avenue. The rippling muscles of the handsome steeds glistened in the April sunshine as the carriages rolled to a halt. And then, out step Love's leading ladies, ending their love train stopover with an autograph session. All right, smile. One author explained romance this way. It's not great literature, but you don't throw out a plate of scrambled eggs just because it's not a souffle. Whatever, the fans eat it up. If there's a queen of American romance writing, it's Janet Daly, author of 80 books, even has her own newsletter. Romance fiction has become the mainstay of the publishing industry. Uh, we are what is allowing the publisher to publish other types of books. Uh, they need us, and they need us badly, and, and that fact alone assures us of our acceptability. Jude Devereaux, said to be the next Janet Daly, says women read romance because... Because their lives are too much business and not enough romance, and these are easy to come home and unwind to, like a tranquilizer. Well, they take you all over the place. Each book is set in a different locale and uh, kind of like takes me away from everything. <laughs> On into the afternoon, the authors pen their names, wishing to all their fans happy endings and tall, handsome men. We're told a romance author can make in the range of sixteen to $60,000 for a single book. The catch is that a company like Harlequin publishes only one out of a thousand manuscripts submitted. Coming up, home foreclosures and why there are so many of them in Illinois.